Beaconsfield Mine became famous in 2006 when three miners were trapped in the mine shaft and one of them died. And the Foo Fighters made a song about it. Did they? They did. What song? The Ballad of the Beaconfield Miner. Really? Yeah. That was my point of reference for the whole thing. Is it Abba in the mine times? I don't know, I think I listen to Abba in the mine times. In 2006. Nearly 400 meters down. On the elevator. Yeah. But they were under the Yeah, but then that little elevator went down 400 meters. Mm -hmm. Just drop them to their death. We definitely spent a lot more time in the beacon to a mine than I thought we would. Yeah. Lots to see. Heaps to see. We went to the platypus house and saw a few platypus and echidnas, which are monotremes. They're the only two monotremes in Australia. There's only five types, we learnt today. The other three types are all in New Guinea and they're all different types of echidnas. 
We said that the platypus is probably the favourite for both of us, purely because we'd never seen one before. The male platypus has these spikes that look sort of like snake teeth, and they're super venomous, they can kill cats and dogs with them. They're actually on the back of their legs, which rotate 360 degrees, a little bit hectic. We've seen echidnas obviously in WA, we get to see one at the Twelve Apostles as well. Monitoring the egg-laying mammals. Their organs are half mammal, half bird, and their skeletons are like reptiles. Crazy, crazy creatures. Just because there's a bow in it, I feel like a clue.